okay so uh, yesterday we discussed about the production of fish meal by following different method so one method is the dry rendering method or dry reduction method by which we can produce the fish meal and that method is applicable for the non fatty fish or lean fish and if we want to produce the fish meal from that type of fishes so for that we have to follow the dry rendering method or dry reduction method so another method is that wet rendering or wet reduction method so in case of wet rendering or wet reduction method this method is applicable for fatty fishes or uh, we can say the fatty fish uh, offals or the means raw material which is having a high quantity of fat so especially the species which suited for the production of fish meal is the in india is the sardine and mackerel then this method in this method we can produce fish meal as well as the fish oil by following the same method we can produce fish meal also we can produce fish body oil also so that is the advantage of this method and this method is suited for a large quantity of fish we can use for large quantity of fishes for production of the fish meal here moisture we can reduce up to 6 to 10% and here uh, machinery uh, means space we require more compared to the dry reduction method because here uh, uh, fish oil production uh, facility is also there so we must have to install some instrument or equip equipment for the production of fish meal also fish oil also so that's why we require a elaborate machinery space for in case of wet render rendering method so this is the flow chart this is the flow chart by which we can produce the uh, fish meal by following the wet reduction method so this is the wet reduction method so first is the raw material that means uh, sardine or uh, mackerel Uh, if in india but in other countries peru is there to so peru in peru they anchovy is they are using in usa manhattan they are using south africa they are using pilchard and anchovy in norway they are using herring and capelin so these are the different raw materials or raw fishes from that we can produce the fish meal so whatever the raw materials or raw fish is there so that fishes should be chopped or we have to do grinding grinding to make a small small pieces okay then after grinding that materials we have to feed into the cooker cooker uh, especially for cooking purposes so we are applying some heat treatment over that uh, chopped materials or grind uh, raw grind fish so in cooking generally uh, 20 minutes we are applying not more than that so after cooking the meat will be cooked so cooked fish we are getting and then cooked fish cooked fish we are feeding into the screw press so we are applying a pressure over the cooked fish so whatever the waters whatever the oils and other materials will be there it will be released out so we are getting after applying a press over the cooked fish we are getting two kinds of product one is the press cake another one is the press liquor press cake press cake what we are doing this press cake is used for the production of fish meal okay press cake is used for the production of fish meal so this press cake contains about 50 to 55% moisture and 3 to 4% oil press cake and this press cake again before going to the drying we have to fluff it that means we are again making into the small small pieces so we are doing a fluffing to make a small small pieces to increase the surface area which will enhance the rate of drying during the drying so after fluffing we are feeding into the dryer dryer drying purposes so dryer basically we are using two kinds of dryer one is the direct dryer which is also known as uh, flame dryer or another one is the indirect dryer in case of dryer so this uh, uh, direct dryer basically in direct dryer we are using hot air like oven like structure 
so in that temp in that dryer we are maintaining a temperature of around 600 degree c so that 600 degree c is the dryer temperature but product temperature it is not going to achieve 600 degree c because it is such a high temperature so ultimately this product temperature it is achieved by um, in case of uh, this um, what we can say this dryer is around uh, 80 degree c not more than that so product is getting a temperature 80 degree c but the dry temperature is 600 degree c so here moisture we will reducing up to a 8 to 10% and then after completion of the dryer drying then that materials we are again doing the grinding grinding that means making a uh, this uniform particle size because that particle size we will used for the uh, you, we will use as a feed ingredient because ultimately that we are incorporating into the animal diet animal feed whether it is the cattle whether it is a dogs or whether it is a uh, this fish or poultry or sheep or horse whatever so that's why we are making the uniform uh, particle size and that we are again going to pack this uh, this is the fish meal after grinding that uniform particle size ultimately that is the fish meal and this fish meal have to be packed and stored carefully so this is the one way by production uh, where we are producing the fish meal another is the after the press we are applying we are getting the press liquor so that press liquor it contains three composition water basically they contains 78% oil they contain 16% and solid solid suspended solid uh, that pressed liquor contains 5 to 6% very important so this pressed liquor generally we are using this pressed liquor for production of oil this body oil so it contains three composition water oil and suspended solid so this pressed liquor we are feeding into the dish sluzer so here water and suspended solid will be separated in case in the sluzer so we are getting two kinds water and suspended solid so this water and suspended solid again we are adding into the press cake press cake that process is there na so whatever water and suspended solid will be there after this 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 laser we will get from the press liquor so that water and suspended solids we are adding to the press cake and the process will be same whereas in another way we are getting the oil water and solid but the percentage will be very less compared to uh, this fresh liquor so here again we are applying the for oil separation for oil separation we are applying the centrifugation centrifugation techniques centrifugation to separate the oil and to separate the water and solid because before feeding into the centrifuge we are having a three composition oil water and suspended solid so we must have to separate oil if we are focusing on the extraction of the oil so oil we are getting separated after the centrifugation only we are getting the water and solid and that water and solid composition is known as stick water and this stick water it contains 95% water and 5% solid again this stick water we are feeding into the evaporator okay again this uh, uh stick water we are feeding into the evaporator so we are uh, having this uh, triple effect vacuum evaporator system is there kai kai aisa bhi hota hai we are following a tank method tank method mein we are having a total of four tank say for example a b c d so a tank is the heating tank generally settling tank will be there settling tank method so a tank will be the heating tank and the b c d tank will be the centrifugation tank so in that purification uh, process is applied by the help of centrifugation so by following that also we are uh, producing the oils as well as the stick water so stick water basically it contains 95% water and 5% suspended solid okay so this we are feeding into the 
concentrating this 95% water we are evaporating and concentrating into up to the 50%. So we will get the water and concentrated stick water. So concentrated stick water is also known as condensed fish soluble, CFS, condensed fish soluble. So this concentrated stick water that having a 50% uh, solid or suspended solid, out of that 50%, it contains 30% protein, 10% ash and fat, fat will be 5%. So this concentrated stick water, it is also sold in the trade, na trade name of CFS, condensed fish soluble, or this may, this we can also directly dry and grinding and then we, are, we will get the fish meal from this. So basically, uh, this um, this wet rendering method, we are getting two kinds of product: fish meal, and another one is the oils. And in between, we are also getting the CFS, condensed fish soluble. Okay. So this protocol you have to remember. Then advantages of wet rendering is that it is a continuous process, fast production rate, suitable to process large quantity raw materials better quality oils so here the quality of the oils will be good and less expensive to operate operational cost is very less and the fish solubles as a byproduct so condensed fish soluble we are getting so oil we are getting fish meal we are getting we are also getting is some byproduct that is called a cfs condensed fish soluble so that is the advantage of this wet rendering or wet reduction method then disadvantage the yield will be very less. So yield is lower, low in water soluble contents unless fish solubles are added back. And it is a rigid method of operation needing qualified operator. So whatever the handler or operator uh, persons we have applied during the processing uh, operations that must be trained and they are well qualified to of how to operate the machine, how to uh, handle the machine. So that's why we require that type of operator. Then control of quality, we require a good quality raw materials. Then excessive temperature during cooking, evaporation and drying should be avoided. So we are not going to apply such a high temperature, especially cooking, evaporation and drying. Then the oxidation of oil should be prevented as it generates heat and may result in fire hazard on the storage. So after production of the fish oil, Ultimately, what we have to do, we have to pack and we have to store somewhere. So during the storage, we must have to maintain the parameter, especially that relative humidity, air velocity, and the temperature what we are uh, maintaining. Otherwise, what will happen if we are stacking our, or we are keeping our fish meal into the store, it may uh, cause, it may cause fire. Why fire? Because there is an exothermic reaction which involves during the storage period. So it may release the heat. Because of the liberation of the heat, the fire may catch during the store in the fish mills. So that's why we, we have to I means prevent the uh, this uh, fire hazard during the storage. So how we can do, first of the oxidation of the fat takes place. So fat oxidation, if it is taking place inside the storage, so we must have to use some antioxidant. So it may prevent the oxidation process. So there should not be any release of the heat. There will be not any release of the heat. So there should there will be not any fire uh, breakage or fire hazard may come during the storage. So that's why we have to take care of that. And even though we have to maintain, suppose we are having a different pack and that pack, if we are storing into the store, so we must have to uh, give some space to allow the there should be sufficient air circulation between the pack. So that is the uh, one of the precaution we have to take during the storage. Then fish meal cooled uh, while coming into the dryer during curing. So matlab jaise dryer se aayega to usko garam garam kyunki heat temperature such a high temperature we are applying in the dryer. So usko kya karna hai? Thanda karna hai and then we have to store into the store. Then packing of meal in air tight polyethylene laminated multi-layer sacks. So we have to pack into the 
एयर टाइट पॉलीथिलीन लेमिनेटेड मल्टी लेयर सैक ऐसे ही खुला डायरेक्ट स्टोर में नहीं रखना है वी मस्ट हैव टू पैक इन टू द एयर टाइट कंटेनर और एयर एयर टाइट लेमिनेटेड पैक देन वी हैव टू यूज द एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट बेसिकली वी आर यूजिंग एथॉक्सीक्वीन एट द रेट ऑफ 400 टू 700 पीपीएम देन गुड हाइजीन इज मेंटेन टू अवॉइड सैल्मोनेला कंटामिनेशन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सैल्मोनेला कंटामिनेशन because the food handler will be there so they are carrying that pathogen and they may transmit or they may contaminate the fish meat and if the salmonella infection is there especially poultry mein to bahut zyada hota hai poultry mein agar infect hua to fir budhe ko poultry ko pura ka pura bimar kar dega aur ho sakta hai wo sara stock jo hai khatam ho jaye so it may it may cause loss economical loss to the farmer so that's why we have to take care while preparing the fish meal we must have to maintain a good manufacturing practice good hygienic practice then the prevention use of formic or propionic acid or exposing to ionizing irradiation we must we can also apply this cold sterilization techniques to uh, uh, prevent the contamination of such type of uh, pathogen so this ionizing radiation basically we are using cold sterilization techniques x rays gamma rays beta rays so that uh, radiation we are using so this specification if you are seeing we are having a two kinds of fish meal grade 1 grade 2 so grade 1 they are having uh, this uh, criteria means parameter moisture maximum whether it is a grade 1 or grade 2 it should be 10% crude protein minimum in case of grade 1 will be 60% then only it is called as grade 1 in case of grade 2 it should be minimum 50% then crude fat maximum 10% grade 1 as well as in grade 2 both then acid insoluble as maximum it should be 3% in case of grade 1 and 5% in case of grade 2 Initial salt maximum it should be four percent in case of grade one and five percent in case of grade two. Then the particle size after drying we are doing the grinding. So particle size it should be two point eight mm, whether it is a grade one or grade two. So this specification is important, especially this crude protein percentage. So basically we are having a two kinds of fish meal, grade one or grade two. Okay. then <clears throat> packing or packaging materials so give protection from air and moisture agar hum jo bhi packaging materials use karenge to us packaging materials ka jo uh, properties hona chahiye it should be a uh, moisture barrier property it must show the moisture barrier property and the air uh, transmission rate jo hona chahiye wo bhi Uh, it should be barriers against the oxygen, or it must be uh, barrier against the ox. I mean, air. मतलब air का transmission नहीं होना चाहिए environment से pack के अंदर में और pack से बाहर भी नहीं जाना चाहिए. So that it should be be air proof or air tight. We can say, or it should be moisture barrier property. It must show the moisture barrier property. Then the fish meal is stored and transported in plastic filling bag. hashin sacks or paper sacks so these are the some packaging materials plastic bags are more slippery and difficult to stack one of the disadvantage of the polyethylene bag but less smell and can be left in rain to wo ek advantage hai to dusra disadvantage bhi hai hashin bag are not water and air tight but can be stacked stably theek hai paper bags with polyethylene lining is a good so these are the some packaging materials we are using for packing of fish meal storage jo hamara hona chahiye fish meal ke liye dry condition hona chahiye cool hona chahiye aur weather proof condition hona chahiye and store must be made moisture proof by giving insulation or sealing so moisture ka transportation store mein bhi nahi hona chahiye pack mein to nahi hona chahiye aur store mein bhi nahi hona chahiye nahi to kya hoga वो हमारा मॉइस्चर का एब्जॉर्बन होगा फिस मिल में मॉइस्चर का एब्जॉर्बन होगा तो हमारा जो एक डेडली टॉक्सिन प्रोड्यूस करता है फंगस अफला टॉक्सिन सो 
it may produce aflatoxin by the fungus aspergillus flavus it may leads to produce a deadly toxin agar koi animal ko agar hum us tarah ka matlab toxicated feed agar hum de to cattle jo hai ya animal jo hai wo hamara paralyzed ho jayega bimar ho jayega aur wo uska nervous system kharab ho jayega then a stacking should allow sufficient air circulation between the each sacs so ek hon ye hona chahiye sufficient air circulation should be there while we are storing into the store pismil sac should not stack to large height means jyada unchai pe bhi nahi rakhna hai thus until shelf heating during storage is prevented ek to shelf heating se humko prevent karna hai how we can prevent by keeping a sufficient space between the pack so there should be sufficient air circulation so there should not be any release of heat during the store so it is not going to cause any fire 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 breaker during the store okay so these are the storage criteria or condition we have to follow so in india dekha gaya hai traditional fish meal production was from sun dried fish collected from drying center so traditional fish meal jo production specially jo dry dry reduction hai dry reduction method wo hamara traditional hai usme kya karte hain मछली को लाते हैं और ला करके समुद्र ये क्या बोलते हैं शौरी की रोशनी में उसको सुखाते हैं फिर उसको ग्राइंडिंग करते हैं और फिश मिल प्रोड्यूस कर लेते हैं दैट इज द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड टू इंप्रूव क्वालिटी ऑफ फिश मिल स्पेसिफिकेशन लेड डाउन बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी इज देयर देन लेटर इन नाइनटीन ब्यूरो ऑफ इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड आई एस सो दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड in 1967 1967 especially for fish meal standard scheme abhi tak mein 12 fish meal plants hain presently 12 fish meal plants is there in the india and the major raw materials we are using for production of the fish meal is the oil sarding then the operation is wet reduction or wet production type this is wet reduction this is because we are using the fatty fishes and major use jo hai iska especially aquaculture mein used use karte hain as a protein uh, supplement or we can say to fix the percentage of protein in the feed of fishes or uh, any other fish or shrimp so these are the uh, all about the means uh, fish meal okay abhi ek cheez aur isme hame bolna hai jo jitne bhi catch hai जो कैच इफ वी आर कैचिंग सो वर्ल्ड का कैच ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड कैच इट गोज टू फिश मिल प्रोडक्शन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कैच इट गोज टू फिश मिल प्रोडक्शन ओके दिस इज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फिश मिल अभी किसी को भाई कंफ्यूजन है तो पूछ लो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है फिश मिल so this is one of the one by product we are getting from the fish anyone so grade 1 grade 2 kiske basis par man grade 1 ko acha maan lo grade 1 mein protein percentage jyada hai to definitely acha hi hoga acha hi hai grade 1 is good because protein percentage is more so jab hum incorporate karenge feed preparation mein we we have to add less quantity because protein we ultimately we are fixing based on the protein percentage how much protein percentage we require so we are feeding 60% that grade 1 it contain 60% protein so grade 1 acha hai yes aur iska agar application dekhoge to iska usage jo hai हम कैटल्स में तो बता दिए कैटल में करते हैं पिग में करते हैं शिप में करते हैं पोल्ट्री में करते हैं फिश में करते हैं हॉर्स में भी करते हैं मींस सबका एक स्पेसिफिक रिक्वायरमेंट है कैटल में जनरली वी आर गिविंग ए दिस 907 ग्राम पर डे पर 454 केजी एक कैटल का जो वेट होगा फोर मतलब 4.5 क्विंटल वी कैन से सो उसके लिए 907 ग्राम पर डे देना है फिश में अगर पिग है तो 113 हंड्रेड टू वन ग्राम पर डे 
सिप है तो 45 टू 91 ग्राम पर डे पर 45.4 केजी ऑफ दैट सिप वेट मतलब 45 किलो का अगर सिप है तो उसको हमको 45 से इक्यानवे ग्राम फिश मीट पर डे देना है पोल्ट्री है तो जनरली पोल्ट्री को जो हम लोग देते हैं लेस देन 10 परसेंट वेट और अगर वो हेन है तो अगर क्या बोलेंगे और लेस देन 5 परसेंट जो है वो हम देते हैं चिक के लिए चिक के लिए हम लेस देन 5 परसेंट वेट पे देते हैं फीडिंग करते हैं तो ये सब है यूजेस बेसिकली वी आर यूजिंग फॉर फीड इनकॉर्पोरेशन और फीड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द कैटल्स पिग सिप पोल्ट्री पेस हॉर्स डॉग जिसको प्रोटीन की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है ठीक है किसी को कुछ पूछना है तो पूछ सकते हो सर हाँ सर कंसंट्रेटेड एस्टी क्वार्टर का कंपोजिशन बताइए नहीं लिखते सर कंसंट्रेटेड एस्टिक वाटर का कंपोजिशन क्या कितना है सर वाटर का परसेंटेज उसमें नहीं एस्टिक वाटर का तो 95 परसेंट वाटर है 5 परसेंट सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड है उसको क्या करते हैं हम लोग कंसंट्रेट करते हैं कंसंट्रेट करते हैं अप टू 50 परसेंट सॉलिड वो 50 परसेंट जो सॉलिड रहता है उसमें जो है हमारा प्रोटीन थर्टी होता है एस टेन होता है और फैट फाइव परसेंट होता है और बेसिकली दिस फिफ्टी परसेंट इट इज कॉल्ड एज कंडेंस्ड फिश सॉलिबुल दैट इज द बाई प्रोडक्ट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम फिश मिल प्रोडक्शन ठीक है यस सर और कोई सर फिश वाल जो बन गया उसको तो सिर्फ ह्यूमन यूज करता है और एनिमल में भी यूज होता है सर उसका बहुत सारा यूज है एप्लीकेशन हम बताएंगे अभी हम फिश मिल पे हैं जब हम ऑयल पे जाएंगे तो वी आर हैविंग टू काइंड्स ऑफ ऑयल वन इज द बॉडी ऑयल अनदर वन इज द लीवर ऑयल तो जब हम ऑयल में जाएंगे तो बताएंगे बहुत सारा एप्लीकेशन है फार्मास्यूटिकल एप्लीकेशन है देन इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन है देन मेडिकल के इसमें एप्लीकेशन है लॉट ऑफ यूज इज देयर ओके तो वो डिटेल में हम बताएंगे फिश ऑयल का एप्लीकेशन किधर किधर है अभी हम फिश मिल पे कंसंट्रेट कर रहे हैं इसके बाद हमारा फिश ऑयल ही है और कोई कोई नहीं नो no, सर अच्छा तो बोल रहा हूं एक हमारा ये कहना है जो मींस जो भी लेक्चर हम दे रहे हैं उसमें कुछ कुछ चीज हम स्लाइड में मेंशन नहीं करते हैं लेकिन जब हम क्लास लेते हैं तो वो चीज हम बोलते हैं तो अगर वो छूट जाए तो यू कैन विजिट टू आवर दिस यूट्यूब चैनल और उस चैनल पे यू कैन लिसन सो उसको अगर हम सुनेंगे तो वहां पर हमें पता चलेगा अरे सर ने ये बोला था बट स्लाइड में तो मैंशन नहीं है हो सकता है वही चीज एग्जाम में आ जाए है ना तो उसे भी हमें yes, लेक्चर को सुन लेना है हाफ एन आवर ही हमें स्पेंड करना है नॉट मोर देन दैट एक लेक्चर ठीक है ठीक है क्लोज किया जाए यस यस सर सर थैंक यू सर हम्म